Hey, everybody. Good morning. Um, super happy to share this Kriya with you all. It's one of my favorites. The Siva the Sahidi Kriya for mastering your domain. And I think that this is a quintessential Kundalini yoga practice. Um, just from the description of it. And it talks about when you master your domain, you are able to sort of control your thoughts, control your actions, and truly, you know, originate these things from your heart. And so if you're if you're moving from your center, from your core center, from your your true sense of being with a capital B, then you know you're always going to be acting in truth. You're always going to be acting in flow. And when we're in flow with the universe and the energy all around us, then we're open, right? We're open to love, we're open to abundance, we're open to connection. And these are all the things that in this human experience, these are our rights, right? Our rights to have, our rights to experience. And also, you know, as beings at this time, truly, um, it's our, our mission, our destiny here to show compassion, to be in service of others, um, to find that connection of love within all of us. So this Kriya, um, it's, it's an energizing, short, sweet Kriya. I love it, um, enjoy it. There's a lot of breath of fire in this Kriya. Um, so you know, if you are pregnant, especially in the later trimesters, probably not for you. Um, you can always modify when we're doing anything that is to challenging for an existing injury um, or you know, if you just are having trouble at this time with some, sometimes we have better days than others, you know, always know that you can modify. You have to be the master of your own domain. That being said, I'm always going to be encouraging you to try and push your boundaries so that you can get a glimpse of your greatness. Okay, so rub your hands together and we'll tune in with Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, which is what we tune in to, to connect with the wisdom of all the teachers that came before us, as well as just the innate wisdom of the universe, the cosmos, and the great spirit. So pressing your hands together, palms are nice, and tight, you're feeling the energy of all the nerve endings coming together right there. And it's almost like a, a grounding, neutralizing energy as we bring the thumbs to the heart center. Take a moment to inhale here. And then a nice long exhale through the nose. And inhale and we'll tune in only more guru day from the three deaths. Oh the more guru hands in the lap and just continue to inhale and exhale. Nice and slow, deep breath. And we'll just do a little warm up here, so lay on our backs. 
So let me stretch first to activate that third chakra. Really turn it on so that we can open up the channel of energy for the creative force to rise up. So stretch pose. If you've never done this before, you may want to place your hands under your butt and create a little triangle pillow with your fingers. And we're going to raise the feet, the head, the shoulders, and possibly the hands if they're not under your butt. And right here, you're going to punch the belly while you inhale and exhale as you go segment. Inhale, exhale through the nose. Turn up the toes, pump in the belly, inhale, hold the back. Exhale, release the breath, pull the knees into the chest. And with the hands, pulling the knees. And then using the core to lift the upper body and bring the nose higher to the knees. Relax the shoulder, put the shoulder blades strap down the spine. Inhale, exhale, through the nose, breath and fire, pump the belly. We squeeze using the core, we're pulling the nose towards the knees by really using that core power, that core strength, the abdominal strength. Now inhale, exhale, release down to the ground, and just side to side, just with the knees, side to back. And then place the hands under the knees and rock and roll all the way up. Pose. And we're going to go hands up 60 degrees. Fingertips are bent into the pads and the fingers. Thumbs are out straight. Creating a sort of a container for all the energy in the universe. Start funneling in and then creating this arc of light from sun tip to sun tip over your head. And again, pumping the belly now with great gusto. Breathing in and out, equal segments through the nose. back nice and straight, tuck the chin slightly, bring the gaze behind closed thighs up to the brow point, that third eye, the ajna, your intuitive inner vision. Stay steady, pumping the belly, finding that rhythm in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Use the mantra sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Keep your mind focused and in the present moment.
Now inhale, bring the thumb tips to touch overhead. Stretch the fingers up. They were antenna reaching towards the heavens. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. So the shoulder blades sort of slide down the back. And just inhale and hold the breath. Pull it on the root lock. So the rectum, the perineum, all those organs down at the root, that first chakra base. Pull up as if you're stopping the flow of urination. Navel comes in and sort of up a little bit. We're still holding the breath. We're integrating the energy now. And exhale very slowly and calmly. Bring your hands slowly, slowly, slowly down to your side. Good work and come into tabletop. You did the cat cow, so bringing the hands right underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers really wide. And during cat cow, I want you to really think about pressing into the earth here. Okay, and then coming up out of the shoulders so you're not collapsing down into the shoulders. Now, as you do cow, you kind of lift the head and the belt is going to sag but you're actually going to think about pulling that belly button in and up into the heart. And we're not going to crank the neck so that you're looking crazy up high. We're just going to look sort of out in front of you. You have to feel this heart lift and the fifth chakra, the throat, really open. So that's your cow pose. Cat pose. We're going to tuck the chin and we're going to tuck the tailbone. And we're going to raise the spine really arch it up towards the sky, the back of the heart, that back of the third chakra, back of the navel, really pressing up, up, up. And this is where you can really press into the mat, just get that extra power, the strength. So inhaling cow, again, pulling that belly button up, up, up into the heart. Exhale now, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, press the back up high. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Nice and slow. Deep breath. Complete, complete exhale. Pressing the fingers, palms into the earth. Bring your attention to the bottom half of your legs that are making contact with the earth. Tops of the feet, possibly. Really press that into the earth. Building a foundation. Building stability, security. And then as you start to warm up here, and you get more comfortable moving and flowing between these two postures. You can speed it up, you can speed your breath up. Inhaling, looking forward. Exhaling, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone.
bring that belly button up and into the heart, gazing forward, pressing the fingertips, the palms into the mat, pressing up and out of the shoulders. And then exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the chest. Sorry, tuck the chin into the chest, tuck the tailbone. Press the hands into the earth. Press the shins, the knees into the earth. Pull the belly up far into the spine as possible. And then exhale, come into child's pose just for a moment. And bring the hands in prayer and with the forehead on the earth, the third eye making contact with the mother. That's your intention today. Why are you here? Make a promise to yourself. Be true, always true to yourself. And then when you're ready, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and then slowly pressing up and coming to sit with your legs spread wide, kind of you. So here, we just inhale as we come center. Really flex the feet. So in Kundalini Yoga, it's not about the flexibility of the muscles. It's not about, you know, the suppleness and the lengthening of the muscles. We're working with the energetic body. And so we want to flex the feet because that's going to activate all the energetic channels running down our legs and shooting out the soles of our feet and our toes. So flex the feet and really keep that integrity of this contraction here. Bring the arms up, inhale, exhale, light twist to look over the left leg as you come down. Inhale, rise up, light twist, right leg. Exhale, lower, inhale, up. Other side. Remember, think energetic body. It's not so much of this big hamstring stretch as it is opening up nerve channels of the body, the nadis. With the energy flowing, we can be in flow. The prana moving through the body, helping us to move the physical body while also focus the mind. So inhale to center. Exhale, we're going to bring the feet together, keeping those feet flat. Grabbing for whatever you can grab. You can grab the toes, you can grab the shins, the knees, and we're just going to inhale up. Inhale up, exhale down. Notice it's not a very far movement. I'm not bending over, I'm trying to keep the spine straight. 
of sweet and sour in the body to me where it's so vital and so important and really utilized in every movement that we make yet it's also so fragile and inhale up and come to easy pose for a moment and take the hands and just bend them and then bring the shoulder blades together behind you. So you're really opening up the heart here. Hands are spread wide. Now you're going to do that same breath, that equal inhale, equal exhale, sort of pumping the belly. But you're going to do it through an O-shaped mouth. So this is kind of a prep, setting us up for the Kriya that we're going to start in just a second. So breath of fire through the mouth. Pulling the shoulder blades together behind you, and opening up the heart. Rectum, perineum, all come up and in. The navel comes in. Pull the shoulder blades together. Maybe to open up the heart. Tuck the chin just slightly. Close the eyes. Bring the gaze to the third eye. Hold the breath and don't think about holding the breath. Just relax. And now slowly, 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 exhale. Relax the arms. And now we come on to our back and we start this Kriya to master our domain. So just like we started in stretch pose, you may want to place your hands underneath your bum. Give your low back some support. Otherwise, the hands are just next to you. So, the reason why I say you need some support because during these leg lift type exercises, you want to bring that lower back close to the ground as possible, just protecting that very special low back spot that I was just talking about, which is so strong yet so fragile. So, open mouth breathing, do that O-shaped mouth. 
Inhale, exhale, but equal. It's like that breath of fire, powerful breath, powerful breath. Not fast, powerful. And we're gonna add some leg lifts. So double leg lifts, you're gonna flex the feet. Again, activating all those nerves, all those nerve channel meridians, all those lines running down the legs. And with that breath, you're just gonna start raising the legs to 90 and lowering them. Do your best. Try to keep up. Your own pace, but keep the breath at that steady rhythm, steady rate. We try to keep the breath at a steady rhythm because that sets the tone for our life. We want to be in the flow. We want to have rhythm. We don't want to be in chaos and predictability. going one more minute. Keep those feet flexed. alternate leg lift. So with that breath, the left leg comes up and comes down, the other side comes up and comes down. One leg at a time.
Exhale, inhale. Exhale, bring both knees into the chest. Just rock side to side. And then bring the hands underneath the knees. Rock and roll. Start small, forward and back. And then you're going to come all the way back up and into tabletop again. And so, from here, we call this, I like to call this kicking cow. So, you come into that cow pose. Fingertips spread wide, right under the shoulders. Rotate the hands, rotate the arms, sorry, so that the creases of the elbows are really trying to face the front in front of you. Okay, so then pull up out of the shoulder, lift the heart, bring the belly up into the heart. So up to in. And now from here, that same breath. And you're going to alternate kicking the leg back. You got it. Keep pressing up out of the shoulders. Don't let the upper body start to collapse into the shoulders. Really press up out of those shoulders. Use the hands on the floor. Kind of give you that lift by pressing against the earth. Then we can create this situation where we can pull up out of the shoulders. All about strong safe foundation. When you feel safe, you can free yourself to be authentic. And when you act authentically, you're being true. You are truth. And really giving yourself that opening of the hips as you alternate the legs back, right? So we're staying strong and we're holding that belly in and up into the heart while we're opening the pelvic area, that pelvic bowl, finding freedom, allowing the emotions that we store in there to move. Pull back. Keep going. Now, some of you may want to stay and just continue doing the same movement. Otherwise, we're going to go into what I call dancing cow. And every time you kick the leg back, you're going to raise the alternate arm. So right leg kicks back, left arm comes forward. Left leg, right arm. Same breath. Don't lose the integrity of the posture. Keep that belly up and in. Heart is forward. Pressing the hands into the floor. Keeping up us and out of our shoulders. i 
Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, child pose, give yourself just a few breaths here, really relax, let the third eye rest on the mat, the upper hip sink low, Give in, surrender to gravity here. Just let the body relax. Surrender all resistance. Cell by cell if you have to. Nice long breath. Try to inhale equally to the exhale. So inhaling hopefully for maybe four counts. Exhaling for the same four counts. Give the mantra sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. Focus on the third eye. While you chant and breathe. You can stay here for as long as you need to. And whenever you're ready, you can place the hands under the shoulders. We're going to come into our frog squat. Frog squat, if you're okay and you have good knees, you come up onto the balls of your feet. Try to bring the heels together as close as they can possible. And you're up on the fingertips. Now, if this is too much for you, you're going to stand up and just do standing squats. Standing squats would be wide legs. Sorry, hands in prayer. And just coming down and up. If you're doing frogs with me, up on the balls of the feet. And you can always also help this posture. If you have a block, you can put a block right underneath your heels so that you have your heels to rest on. But we're up on the balls of our feet for a very specific reason. Complicated, but has to do with activation, energy flow, all those nerve panels that we were talking about before. So fingertips on the floor, this is like your grounding aspect here. Fingertips on the floor, like an antenna plugged in. And we're gonna inhale, you're gonna pull the body up, using the core to pull you up. So not so much the legs, even though we are employing them in the movement. It's the core and the inhale that pulls you up. And the head drops, and then on the inhale, exhale, sorry, exhale, we're going to look forward as we bring our bum down. Inhale up, exhale.
stay strong and stay steady, the trick to these frog squats is really keeping sort of a steady rhythm. Not to move too fast or too slow even, you'll find it becomes more difficult. But as long as you just keep moving in your own perfect rhythm, you can really go and go and go. Now inhale, exhale, and coming down. Take a breath. Good job, guys. The next couple postures here are very meditative, and we do them in seated. So. Prop yourself up if you need to, sitting in easy pose. We're going to be listening, listening to the Jap Sahib, which is a nice, beautiful, um, long recitation of prayer. It's, I think, the 25th Hori. Um, so it's, it's one sort of um, paragraph, I would say, of this long running, beautiful, beautiful Sikh prayer. So, catch my breath. The arm movements, we're going to start at up high, 60 degrees, okay? And then when um, the beautiful singer starts to chant, we're going to wait. And then when you hear the word namastang, you're going to bring your arms up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So it's four counts and then a pause. And then we'll do it again. You'll see. I'll play the music and I will cue you. And then I want you to just really let yourself kind of go in inward and give that journey, personal journey. Now go ahead and just relax. Catch your breath and all those frogs. I think I finally have. It's a beautiful, beautiful prayer. Really, don't worry that he's speaking a different language. Let the sounds of his words, these sounds, the Mughi language, just really penetrate with their vibration into your heart. And up, pause. And up, up, pause. Continue on. Namaste. 
to me peace within me peace in my mind peace in my surroundings peace to all peace to the universe may there be peace in the world may there be peace all over the world Forever Forever Peace unto me Peace within me Peace in my mind Peace in my surroundings Peace to all Peace to the universe May there be peace in the world May there be peace all over the world Forever Forever Peace unto me Peace within me Peace in my mind, peace in my surroundings Peace to all Peace to the universe, 
May there be peace in the world. May there be peace all over the world forever. Unto me, peace within me, peace in my mind, peace in my surroundings, peace to all, peace to the universe. May there be peace in the world. May there be peace all over the world. to me peace within me peace in my mind peace in my surroundings peace to all peace to the universe may there be peace in the world may there be peace all over the world in my mind, peace in my surroundings, peace to all, peace to the universe, may there be peace in the world, may there be peace all over the world. Exactly where you are. Let's become aware of your breath. And on the inhale, breathe right into that space underneath your hands. Feeling the vastness, the expanded open space there, the infinite potential. The inner space. Notice the feeling of security, of stability. Set into the fabric of your being. Feeling nurtured, held, supported. By spirit, by the earth.
can feel the energy moving within you, the light circulating throughout. Bring awareness to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers. Notice the sensations there. May the long time sunshine upon you, all the life around you, and the pure light within you, guide you your mind. So Thank you.